Hello everybody and welcome back to Adam RPG. We've made it to Krasno's nominee. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, traders. Here we go. Um, where are we gonna go though? Let's go. The Amra guy never really has anything new. And he doesn't really pay well. Let's go. But he might have something, so I'm gonna check him out. I'm gonna check him out regardless and see if he's got anything that I might want, maybe? Let's see. Hello. Hi. Uh, but, uh... No, you've just got those helmets. Okay, continue. Goodbye. Um, oh, we should give, um, Hexagon Dude the new helmet that we have. The better helmet. It is less dodging, but more damage resistance. So he can have that. We'll just he'll just get knocked down a little bit more often, probably. Which is not ideal, but we, we can we can deal. We can deal. Okay. Ooh, you've got you've got weapons. Um pellets. Oh god, they all use the same ones. 30s, but empty of course. Ampromorphine. Stims. Yes. You have a lot of stims. But nothing. Hmm. Not, not of the ammo that I really want or need. Great. Um, anyways, let's pile on all the things that we don't need. We don't need the rusty TT pistol, right? That's just in there. Because we had it. Um, keep, 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 keep. Don't need to keep. Don't need to keep. Don't need to keep. Waste paper, blah, 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 blah. Stims, blah, 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 blah. Cognac. Lantern battery. What do you have? The DIY respirator. No. We'll keep that. No, actually we have the better one. We've got the gas mask, don't we? So we don't really need to keep that. And then what do I have? I have wasp legs. A lot of empty bottles. I don't need this many empty bottles. Let's give him like six of those. Um a microchip. How am I doing? I'm on a hundred out of that. I don't really need the canteen anymore. Just got the bottles. <laughs> I don't really need that. Uh, you could have that one. I have this silly triple cologne as well. I'm gonna do that one. Have these canteens. Really don't need them. Okay, there we are. 907. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I think. Okay. Trade. Perfect. Okay, we've emptied out. We've emptied out our pockets. Let's go rummage through his rubbish and see. See if there's anything in there. No, no, no. Don't go this way. Go this way. You don't want to go around because you'll get booted off the map. Or in, a, in, a, in an alarm clock. Wait. There's actually quite a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I'm going to take that. I'm not going to take the log because logs are just way too heavy. No. Uh-uh. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Okay, so we gotta go talk to the mushroom cult guy. Um, not about... Not necessarily about... Well, we can't talk to him about... Um, what's the word? Uh... Um, not about the, the death tunnel yet, the water filter, because I can't. But about Devi Christu, because he did give us a quest for that as well. Hi, Artyom! Uh, how's the search? Not going anywhere. Oh, really? Go talk to some... Who gave us the charge? Also, how have I never, have I never talked to anybody else here? Hi! I'm a bit busy talk to my co-workers. Are you all just busy? Hi, who are you? A fine looking man in a blue shirt sits in front of you. He tears the size of his calculations he's been doing before your arrival smiles friendly. Welcome to my stadium. I'm the organization's official merchant. You might sell me something. <gasps> yes, you will. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Give me all of those. Definitely. 
I have like ammo that I really don't need, which is like slugs, for example. I don't need those. I really don't. I have that one, and then that, and corn, and those, and then eight more. What if I give you cancel? Toilet paper. <laughs> you would like toilet paper, wouldn't you? There you go. Enjoy. Done. Hexagon plonk. Perfect. Oh, how about answering some questions? You're a bit busy. Okay, now I have to go. So why is it so why is it so laggy in here? Okay, I, ooh, they also have an underground bunker thing. Interesting. Oh, code at lock. Nine six nine six. Nope. Okay. But it said to talk to. I can return much from cult member Igor and tell him what I've gathered. Oh, I've talked to Igor. Who is Igor? You're not Igor, right? Who is Igor? Why can't I find e Igor? Um, let's rest till morning. Because it is two o'clock. Let's rest six hours. We probably have to eat. Igor might be back now, so. There we go, let's have a look see. No, that's still Artyom. I don't even know who you are. You're not Igor. Where is Igor? Huh. You are not Igor, you are the Mermic person. I want to tame Mermic too. You're also not Igor. You're clearly not Igor. You were Borislava. I don't know who you were. Hi. Um, and Trevor walks the streets when it looks like she searched for something or some uh, someone or something. Those shoes, that military grace in your step, you're the second person with that gaze I've met in recent times. And will the third one come over? Who? Who was the first one? Ooh. <gasps> Atom? Who was the first one? Have you noticed that thing in our world come in threes? Either it's a gang with three leaders or the local loan truck who has three people in debt. Or that time it turned out that the three veterans of the last war lived somewhere in the city, and that's not nearly all. Who was the first person that looked like me? Not that long ago, I was walking home from the Chamber of Commerce late at night when I saw a tough-looking military woman with a submachine gun in her arms. She had such queer mannerisms, as if she was just back from a military drill, even though the military doesn't exist anymore. She said hello to me as she passed by, stopped near, near a fence and lit a ciggy. I ran in a corner by instead of going home, started watching the woman. Don't really know why. She smoked for a while and then entered the Mushroom Cult building, or the Mycelium Society, as they call themselves. Never saw her after that, but I remember her very well. That is a strange thing. That is very, very strange. Uh, who are you? My name is Clavdia, and I'm just a simple city dweller. I don't even have a job. Those walks I take from time to time is all I'm good for. How long have you lived here? I lived here for as long as this place exists, and lived here even before that. It was just a simple Soviet city. Oh, I see. Okay, so where the heck is Igor? Wait, is Igor the one who recruited me? I guess he is. I don't remember where he was, though. You're the Mermic person. Who are you? With the updates, all the names disappeared. That's the same. Uh, those shoes look so good. That simply must be a good story. Probably, but I don't have the time to tell. Finally dressed in Robin Run 40. Can I answer some questions? Very busy. Okay, I won't keep you any longer. Who the heck here is Igor? I don't remember. And around 50 KGB agent. Yes, totally. Hi, who are you? You know, there's a tall, mustached man, aged around 30, in a slightly modified police uniform. While his shiny cap reminds you of lawmen of earlier centuries, his huge boots, giant belts, and other knickknacks seem like kind of futuristic. His weird looks become even stranger. But you notice that there's a huge gas powered chainsaw hanging from his belt. It's the Drosba brand. You should. Used to down huge trees in the wild, but modified with a long, long sturdy handle like that of a sword. Uh, you, yeah, you, get over here. The man's voice, deep and scary, but at the same time somewhat melodical, makes you freeze in your tracks. The man looks you over. One knows, two ears, I show at least some intelligence. I can see you're no mutant, and since you're not a mutant, how about joining the Red Guard of Lenin? Die for general, die for the general, blah, blah. Die for the general secretary today, because tomorrow might be too late. What's this all about? Ignorance is bliss, future guard. Wisdom pushes towards heresy. Heresy. But everyone should know what he's going to die for, I guess. I should tell you what I might seem a little crazy talk at first, but actually isn't. I'll hear you out. 
After the war, humanity was set back a thousand years, both technologically and morally. That led to the creation of various weird cults, which looked like blatant parodies of cheap sci-fi novels of the past, and thrive on the stupidity of the common man. Sometimes the only things that hold such in organizations in place are misguided interpretations of historical truth with the object idiocy of their mem members. Listen quietly. The worst thing about crackpot organizations like that is that they somehow doubt the reality of the Red Guard of Lenin, a true and honest real-life organization that was created back in 1917 to battle mutant hordes. Its creator? Why, well, it was the immortal, Lenin, uh, the immortal Lenin, a mighty telepath, a true chairman of humanity who guides us from the gas bed of Kremlin. Okay, I've never heard that story. All emotion extinguished in the man's face. You only see him inspiring faith and loyalty that shine in his eyes. Have you ever heard of Vladimir Lenin? What can you tell me about him? Uh, are you talking about the Russian revolutionary? Smoke and mirrors, illusions and pseudoscience. First of all, Vladimir Lenin was never a mere mortal. He also wasn't a mushroom or a radio wave, even though some people think so. He was more of an entity, a combination of the best minds in human history that mixed together in one body. Fathers of communism, Marx and Engels, writer Chernyshevsky, battle maidens, Clad, Setkin and Lo Rosa Luxemburg have always known that capitalism will one day destroy humanity, making every man a slave to his unfair workspace. They knew that money will push people, make them muted into disgusting abominations, deaf to the desperate hungry cries of the starving masses. But they also knew they couldn't stop this terrible future on their own. Oh, Dios mio. Where do people like that even come from? I know, right? Uh, the common sound throws the looks of, ha looks of hatred at Fidel, but says nothing. Uh, keep listening. Marx, Engels, said he and the rest that only one way to stop capitalism. A true noble way. So they gathered in a snowy Russian town of Symbiotis and killed themselves in a huge pentagram. Only to be reborn six months later as one being known as Vladimir Lenin. Thus, the mighty Lenin started leading the people to heaven on earth. He threw the heretical, heretical religions of the past into trash. He started telling people to study more. He turned a terrible, woeful century to the golden age of communism. And when his body started to give it under the pressure of his giant mind, he placed himself into the glass bed of Kremlin to telepathically guide his people to salvation for all eternity. Yeah, sounds quite logical. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. What are you telling me? I don't get it. He points to the statue. Lenin statues are actually powerful conduits for Lenin's astral powers. <laughs> he talks to his worshippers through them. Mm -hmm. But now one of the statues is in trouble. A horde of moral and impos possibly even physical mutants degenerates known as the scrap dealers wishes to melt it down and send it to heartless metal merchants. I've gathered two groups of battle brothers, but without a wise commander. They will not succeed at storming the well definite scrapyard, but the monsters keep the statue. Tell me that you are ready to charge at the forces of chaos and bring glory to a general secre secretary, as well as a noble death to yourself and all those who are crazy enough to follow you. Um... I don't know about that noble death part, but okay. Hand me your map. The man opens the palm of his hands and waits you to place the map in it. After that, he draws a crude mark on the map and returns it. You will now go to this location. There, will other, there you will eat other guards who stand against the muted, mutated horde, heretical enough to steal the statue of Great Lenin. But your eyes not get fooled by their looks. Your enemy is not human. They are mutants of the worst kind. Political and ideological mutants. So when you get to keep your body looking like normal, but your mind and soul turn to capitalism. When you finish the good fight, report back to me. Understood? Well, actually, time for talking is over now. <laughs> okay. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> um, Where the heck was Igor? I don't remember where. I don't remember where Igor was. Where was he located? He was outside, wasn't he? I think. I don't remember though where he was but I think he was outside the actual city bit wasn't he over here somewhere you're that one are you Igor there is Igor knew it he was out here hi hello there it is you again I followed DV Christo and her disciples the man comes a bit closer to you great what do you manage to find out um not really they're just common idiots like many others Igor rubs his chin and dab but the line that appeared on his forehead slowly smooths out and he smiles again do you think so well perhaps i worried too much about them i just thought it was better to be safe than sorry he jokingly wipes sweat of his forehead phew thanks for following them meanwhile i'm prepared a few small presents to choose from 200 rubles or a crude pre-war first aid kit and a can of stewed venison take your pick go on go on sorry there's a cat on my desk give me the money 
He nods and procures a neat stack of banknotes from under his shirt. Don't mind if I do. Uh, the mushroom cooks. Mushroom looks quite around the square and turns back to you. Will you please tell me more about your scientific society? Oh, with pleasure. And change your mind. Uh, a couple of questions. Tell me about yourself. Have to go. Okay, cool. Uh, what do you get? 45 experience. Uh, 54 experience. I know how to read. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we did that one. Hi. Do you have... You have money. I like money. Do I have anything that I really need to sell you, though? Oh, not really. Okay, so we've been here. We need to get to the ship. We need to get to the ship. So we, <laughs> we're kind of running back and forth a little bit here. <laughs> but... Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We're just gonna go to the ship now and talk to the people here. And ask them about... Wee! Scrolly, scrolly, scrolling. Get in the game. Juicy sweet apples. Was that over here? I think it was over here, right? Where we needed to go. To talk to the people. Or maybe they be, might be in the casino as well. I don't know. I don't actually remember. But, uh, must be somewhere over here. Hi. You there. The huge guard stops you with his white hand. He lifts up his hat and ups the set of his forehead. Oh, you again. Listen, it's like I told you. The place is for the local gangs to meet up. No stranger is allowed. Um, maybe you heard of someone named Shishak. Shishak? A fam fam familiar name to be sure. You know what? Come in and talk to bloody Valera about this. He's there with his mates. You can't miss him. After saying so, the guard lets you pass. I'm going to do just that. that. Thanks for letting me through. Okay, do you have anything to trade? No, you do not. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Hi. Or is his eyebrows? You there then. Probably. A sturdy man in his 40s clears his throat and demonstrates a wry smile. Despite his friendly manners, his ring tattoos, the way he holds his cigarette and spits between his teeth, leave no place for doubt. You're talking to a seasoned gangster. Hey there, who sent you? Have some business with me or just look around? Um, I'm an Adam agent, so I could speak in a me. I'm not coming from anyone, I'm on my own. Just want to say hello. The man claps his hands loudly, which earns him angry looks from his partners in crime. I see, I see. You don't look like a hobo. Anyway, what hobo would drag us feet to such a posh place? An adventurer, aren't you? This is just what I need. Sit down, girl, I have some business. Uh, do you know a man called Shishak? The man casts a quick look at his friends, which cover their mouths with their hands and shake their heads. Shishak, nope, don't remember uh, anyone by this name, but perhaps my mates here do. Hey, hey, hey. What do you want to discuss with me? The man casts a quick look at the sturdy guy at the top of the table. Uh, he gives a barely perceptible nod. Your companion moves closer to you. You can sense the smell of alcohol coming from him. I got fed up with lying low in cheap huts after assaulting a caravan. So by the end of my career, I've turned into a money man. Got me? Well, I lent money to people at interest. Everything's nice and honest. My policy goes like this. If you return the money on time, we have no problem with you. Go in peace, man. If not, my guys and I make sure you disappear. Otherwise, it's bad for our reputation. For the business. One of these days, the guys and I, we sat well into midnight thinking this thing over. What if we find a mediator, a negotiator, to talk to my debtors before I let my guys loosen them? Then we won't have to kill that often. This might even make me look better among friars. What will you say? I will give you my death list, so to speak, and you can talk to them. If you persuade them to return the money, they'll live. You'll get a certain reward. Yeah, I can do that. Delightful. Now listen, my debtors are the first. It's Kurt Sharp uh, Brinsilov. He owes me five grand. He's addicted to slot machines. He hangs out in the casino. Without, the second one is Katerina Mavrova, a business lady who constantly besieges the same chamber of com commerce to receive yet another certificate. She has to pay seven grand. The third one is an idiot, Simeon Lapushkin, who slaves away at the local power plant. He has a wife and a child in some godforsaken village to feed, so he's come here for work. I helped him out while he was getting his bearings, but he's not too eager to return the money. Three thousand. You have three days to make them see reason. Just three days. If I don't see the money by the end of these three days, I'll deal with them. Uh, I'll talk to them. Uh, could you answer a couple of questions? Who are you? My name is Gosha. Gosha the Wild, which is a very well-deserved nickname. There was a time in life when the bigger part of the North feared me. Now I work as a money man. Uh, what goes in the city? Our boys work, commoners thrive, the government's corrupted, cops go rogue, just like before the war. Uh, any rumors? Are you too brazen calling an old thief a gossiper? You could pay dearly for this. Uh, talk of him some time, talk of her debtors, she has cash of debt, da, 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 nothing new. Barter. Okay, let's talk some other time. Can I talk to you? Bolt to two thug. A bolt to two sh sh thug. Shuffles a deck of playing cards deftly and speaks quietly to his pals who look like criminals. 
But what do you do? You like playing cards? What do you care? Get out of here. For you. Uh, before you send a British man. He is mus muscular, naked, and covered with prison tattoos. In his veiny hands, he claps a huge hatchet. He's taking swings at the air from time to time. Uh, what do you want? Talk quickly. Do you know anything about a man they call Shishak? The man stops waving his hatchet around, sticks it into a heavy wooden table. Shishak, are you from Dan? Yeah, kind of. Why? Fucking balls. I know something like that was bound to happen. You know how to talk to the chief. Know what? Here's my buddy sitting over there wearing a cape. If you want something done, help him out. We'll know you're our gal. Then we'll let you chat with the chief. Not a turn away in silence. Okay, so gotta do the job. And then I get... Okay, cool. Gotta get... Okay. You only need the best cotton. Hi. What do you need? Anything you want, just walk around and talk to the local residents. Depends on what you can offer. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Pick your pocket. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hi. Do you get to fight off an... Okay, there we go. Uh, oh. Oh, you are here. What the fuck are you doing in here? Divi Christopher is staring gloomily down at the counter, sticky with wet rings and spilt fluids. She is clutching a glass of some kind of muddy moonshine. Uh, you cook kind of sad. The woman puts down her glass and slowly turns to you. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just here along with my thoughts. Do you want something? Just wanted to pay the lovely lady a visit. Questions? How did you become Divi Christo? She saw Aunt Stimony. What else should I call myself? After the, visit after the visions through which I saw my past self in the body of the crucified God and his weeping mother. Many such visions have I experienced, from seeing myself as a corpulent Indian prince resting under the sacred fig tree, to becoming a white bearded Chinese official founder of the art of war. But agree with me on this, the name Devi Banana Christo Guatama Sun Tzu is a real mouthful. That seems complicated. What are your plans now? What are the plans of a voice, if not the quest for an ear ready to receive its message? We will move forward deeper into the waste, as far away from these animals as possible, my child, away from these heathens. As an exotic feminized Moses, I will find and free my people from the shackles of atheism, and I will guide them straight towards the sun. Okay. Yegor, Ivan, Ch no, wait, who was it? Oh, you there. I'm a friend. How the search of the Count Roskevsky shield. Um, that can wait. A couple of private questions. Okay, um, no, 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 it's this dude, isn't it? Yeah, cart trap, brings a lot. Hi. Uh, the man in front of you feeds coins into the slot machine vehemently and passes his cigarettes mercilessly. He seems totally absorbed by this, so it's no surprise it takes him some time to register. You're there. Uh, I see. I'm here to talk about your debts. The man swallows the lump in his throat and finally switches his attention to you. Debts, um, her, but I, I win my money back soon and then pay it all back. Honestly, I have a plan. Uh, you never win it back, mate, so pay now and go in peace. <sighs> Would help if I hit you? I can, you know, and I will gladly. Yes! Yes, I do believe you can. Oh shit, so you think I should return the money right now? I won't win it back. I'm absolutely sure. The man shivers and finally heaves a sigh. Well, what can you do? I've already pledged my rifle, my country house, everything. I've money to pay you and the rest. I'll win it from these machines. The man looks around nervously, extracts a bundle of crumpled bills from his bo bosom, sighs sadly, and gives it to you. Here, give this money to the gangsters. That is a wise decision. All right, cool. That was your money, and I had my Windows key there. <laughs> By accident. Enjoy. <laughs> um, okay. So we got that. Uh, I'm thinking it's the one with the new shoes. Maybe. Katarina, whatever her name is. Um, but if, Kat, yeah, Katarina, Katarina Marova. But she's gathering things. Is that you? I'm kind of thinking it's her. Because she's got new shoes. So how else would she afford to, like, be able to afford, like, shiny new shoes? Is it her though? Continue. Uh, this simply must be a good story. Probably. Is it not? Can you answer your question? I won't keep you any longer. Oh, no, it's her. Katarina Morova. Uh, Mafrova. Not Marova, Mafrova. Uh, a tiny woman to, uh, look, an untidy woman, woman who introduces herself as Katarina Morof uh, Morova earlier still lives around the Chamber of Commerce. She's rooted to the spot. You again. Time is money. What do you want? Uh, what is this pile of documents? I simply have no time to answer those questions. I need the money you owe the gangster from the ship. This is all. Her woman's, the woman's eyes turn round. This shit again? Look, when a common friend said I have 60 days, I told him then and there I didn't agree to such a ridiculous deadline. In a year, when his pathetic thousands turn into a half a million, I'll gladly pay him back. But not now. It's not my fault he was listening when I told him that. 
Just that. What will happen to us all of in a year? Think of it. It's just stupid. Pay him now. Damn it. Only an idiot would guarantee the increase of capital under the current economic circumstances. Think of me coming back and instead of asking you nice and preparing to kill you. Holy crap. Carry out a quick intimidation action. Failure. Oh, you bent down to try and crawl to Katharina unnoticed to tie her shoelaces together so that she fell and realized what terrible si situation she was in. Oh god, it's impossible to reach you. Is it a joke? My god, woman, I told you already. I'll pay him back when the time comes. Don't butt me. He'll be grateful because the payment will be late, but one in an interest. Enjoy your last days. Yeah, nope. I couldn't save you. I might be. I might pay for her, but I don't think so. He's working in the power plant. I don't think I have 7,000 rubles to spare, so she's gonna die. I'm sorry, but you're gonna die. That is just how that's going to be. Because you're just the silly one. 7,000 is a lot of money as well. Or, or 3,000? Maybe if it's 3,000, I might pay her. I don't remember. I don't remember how much hers was. Or is it a thousand? I remember. Where is the power plant? Here is the power plant. Boink. Okay, let's go. And then get the money back from you. Three thousand. Seven. Yeah, seven thousand. No, uh-uh. That's a lot of money. A thousand I would maybe do. Seven thousand? No way. No freaking way not going to happen mm, are you Simeon? no are you Simeon? who is Simeon here? I continue are things going with the shipment problems? no result of it yet uh, maybe you can't answer to me in a room okay no 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 okay you don't want to talk oh there's Simeon hi look I'm working now if you have a question go talk to my boss no I want to talk to you about your debt the broker turns pale, which is obvious even despite the soot that covers his face. Oh, could we move the debt? And a little, you see, I owe money to other people too. I understand how tough your situation is, mate, but it seems to me you don't. These people are dangerous. I know, I know, well, please. well, well, they're not that dangerous, right? In the city, there are police patrolling the streets of people around. How can it be a gangster who's rich enough can do whatever he wants? Uh, I'll beat you now, it'll hurt. You might even die. Crap, no, don't. I shit. Look, I don't need these problems. My wife back in the country has given birth. They're the reason why I'm working my fingers to, to the bone here. I don't want my child to grow up with this, without his father. The man sighs and takes a bundle of comfort built out of the pocket of his dirty uniform. Give it to my boss. Wise decision, my friend. Okay, cool. We've talked to him. Done his bidding. Katarina Marov, uh, Mavrova is going to die. But, hey. We tried, we tried to reason with her and clearly that is unacceptable. So, uh, there is that. Nothing we can do about it. And uh, yeah, if she if she doesn't pay, then that's not my problem. Oh crap! I you were already here. Somehow I thought I was following the others, not my own character. Whoopsie! Ooh, this looks cool. God, I really like the new artwork. I really do. Okay, zoom, 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 and then plonk. Here is where we're going. I can just follow you. Running there. Eventually, eventually we'll get there. <laughs> I think the casino is very fun. Oh, is it now? Well, I'd rather keep my money. Thank you. All right. Hi, Gosha. Um, talking to your debtors. Here's Sharp Cards, Brinsolov's dead. Here's Simula Pushkin's dead. Here's 10% for you. So you actually found some my great job. Here's ten percent. Oh God, really, really. I I can't. Oh God, I have to pay her. Bloody hell. Talking of debt, there's here's her debt. Here, here, give it to me. Money's money. Here's your well on ten percent. And what now? You did a great job, sis. Maybe you should switch to more peaceful methods of money collecting. Oh, those perspectives. Right. I guess you can talk to bloody Valera, my pal. Perhaps he will cheer you up. Okay. Hi, bloody Valera. 
Not you. Uh, I did everything around with that pal. The room looking behind him continues to fight with an air. From time to time, he shares a word or two with his um, comrades. Uh, I did everything for that pal of yours. Everything done? Fine, you can then talk to the chief. Uh, the bandit turns to the quiet strongman who guards the crime leader's room and shows him a strange, apparently secret gesture. The guard shrugs and invites you in with a nod. Good luck in the talk you're about to have. You'll need it. Oh, there's another dude in there. I didn't see that. Hi. Hello. A mustached man in a hat is spinning a ciggy in his fat fingers. Before you can say anything, he jumps up and aims his shiny new TT pistol at your face. Jesus Christ and Mother Mary, who did my God for nothing? God's led in this time. Speak up. Um, my name is G, and I represent Dean, his man. Represent me. Rep represent. Not rep not present. I represent. The mustache idiot? Here, I meant to say old idiot. Well, what does he want? I'm not going to cooperate with him if that's what he's after, period. It's not about that. We had a little conflict of interest at the old factory. Your people told me they know of one of the fire starts from that fight we had. The gang leader calms down, licking his lips. Ah, damn snakes taught you everything. My mom was right when she taught me not to trust anyone, even myself for that matter. Damn it, fine, I'll open up to you. We helped the Shishak fella and we got you had good reason to do it, uh, so. What are those? The bandit briefly drops his pistol with a dirty napkin with his initials on it and conceals it again. Well, to begin with, have you heard of a certain bandit from up north called Syomya Voronok? I might have, don't remember, who's he again? He's a legendary mob boss who got his hands in a diamond mine after the war. There's a whole town built up around the mine. He's the god and the king of it all. He deals in slaves and drugs and captures whole factories. Quite, quite the adversary to those who dare cross him. Like I already told you, Tioma Voronok owns a diamond mine, meaning he's got tons of stones. This local character decided to relieve him of some of his jewels. He crept into uh, Vor Voronok's tower in the dead of night and got away with his best shinies. I myself would applaud such opportunism, but Tioma wasn't so graceful. He started digging and discovered the thief has something to do with Dan and his factory crew. And... Well, who knew the old man would be so unforgiving? He sent one of his men over to make an ultimatum. Either we help him destroy Dan and his crew just for being associated with the diamond thief, or he sends us to hell. God knows. I don't fall for cheap tricks, but Sioma's guy showed up as serious. Very serious indeed. He exploded like a train cart full of dynamite during the moot. Result, we decided to bring Dan down. What a story. Who's the thief who said all of this? An informant who sometimes worked for Dan. He said he was killed in Otratnoye, or he got lost or something. It wouldn't be surprised either way. Uh, is this also a terrible henchman of Voronok hiding right now? I doubt it. He didn't call me the sweet talker for nothing. I'm awesome at negotiating, yet I couldn't talk sense into this, guys. Try it yourself if you want. Just don't forget to say goodbye to your loved ones beforehand. Voronok's people are constantly traveling. But a little girl told me they can be found right now at a place called the Container Yard. It's worth a try. Thank you. Anything else? Um. Oh, do you have a job for me? You want a job? I can give you a job. You will have to get your hands dirty. Uh, depends on the mark. There's this bunch of hood rats who think they're shit. They stole from my pal Gosha. They paid a visit to our girls but never paid. They even started a fight inside the casino. We should could forget one crime, maybe even two. Our patient is angelic. But three? Never. Only blood will wash away their crimes and you are going to be our blood letter. These rats run off someplace near Fogolevka village to the west. Find them. Kill them. Seek and destroy. Gotcha. Okay, nobody is upset about that. Good. Cool. So we got new quests and quests and quests. How exciting! We actually have something to do, so we're not gonna go... Maybe get stuck in the death tunnel? I mean, we're probably gonna get a butt kick, but... But... Maybe not! We'll find out next time! Thank you so much for watching, everybody! Take care! See you next time! Bye-bye!